This is the second part of this two-part series of videos focused on the use of the J1939 function blocks that come packaged with Profex Control. In this video, we'll take a look at the DM1 send and receive function blocks. In the previous video, we added a CAN bus to our project with a J1939 manager, a local ECU, and a remote ECU with the preferred address of zero. To receive DM1 messages from this remote device, we first need to add a DM1 read function block. On the input side, we'll set enable to true and set source ECU to the name of our remote ECU. The output side of the DM1 read function block will tie to the input side of the DTC buffer writer function block. I'll tie the DTC handler list pins together and the enable input will tie to the busy output to the read block. The next step is to create an array that will act as a buffer to hold the DTCs. In this example, I will be able to hold 40 DTCs. The DTC buffer input on the function block is where we will reference our array using a pointer. We'll calculate the buffer count by taking the size of our buffer and dividing it by the size of one DTC. After downloading and running the application, you will be able to view and reference all the active DM1 trouble codes within the buffer indexes. In order to transmit DM1 DTCs from the local device, you'll start by adding a DM1 write function block and setting the source ECU to the name of the local ECU in your project. The rising edge of the execute input will trigger the transmission of the DM1 message, so I will add a timer to have it transmitted every second. The DTC provider list output will feed into the DTC provider function block. I'll create a boolean value that will enable the DTC and a DTC structure that will connect to the data pin on the block. For demonstrative purposes, the DTC will be SPN 120, FMI 10, and I'll make the occurrence count 1. Before downloading the application, be sure to verify the execution order of the function blocks. Additional DTCs can be added by creating duplicate DTC provider function blocks and connecting them in parallel with the DTC provider list output. Follow the link below for more videos and for a link to our ProFX forum where you can download these sample applications.